Hey guys, another episode today. Um, today we're looking at the electronics of the bus. Uh, basically, I wanted to kind of change up the panel. Um, this is the old panel and that the electronics were mounted on on the bus. It's pretty flimsy. Uh, it did match the rest of the bus, which is nice, but I'm just going to try and stain it um, the same. So I've gone ahead and whipped this out. Um, basically what I want to do is I want to move some of these gauges around, um, but obviously I can't with uh, with the amount of space areas that have been placed in the middle, I want to add another one. So what I really need to do is start shuffling them around better. So I'm going to use a, another bit of ply for that. I'll just whip that out to make a template. Um, here are the electrics here. We have our battery monitor here. Um, we also have our fuse gauges here. So this is what I'm going to add another one of. Basically, I want a second lot of these switches so that I can just control more and not run them all together. Uh, we also have our tank monitoring up here uh, and a few switches and other things. So I've disconnected the solar controller there. Uh, I've just disconnected the panel from the solar controller and I've also pulled the fuse out of the um, battery so we should be all set to go. So a couple other things we're going to do to the electrics once we've got this panel in place. Uh, we're going to put a couple of USB ports here um, primarily for popping phones, you know, iPads, charging that sort of thing in there. Um, it's a, I would like to add some down the back at some stage as well. So when you're in bed, you can be, you know, charging a tablet or whatever, but this is a, just be a quick place to put a few in for our next trip. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is wire in another light. Um, so down here is the original bus light. Um, this is the step light, which you'd control from the dashboard. What I'm going to do is put an LED bulb in there. I'm going to put a switch up here on the wall and I'm going to wire it back up into the, into the top up here. So you can see it's a pretty short cable run, should be a nice easy job. Um, what that'll mean is when we come in uh, from a night, you know, rather than if it's dark, rather than climbing into the bus and coming up and turning on one of these main lights here, um, we'll be able to flick that switch and uh, have the stairwell lit up and just give us a bit of light to sort of get in the bus. Um, I might also look into the LED light strips and maybe put a bit of a light strip around the bottom of the bus. But at this stage, I'm just going to pop a spare LED bulb I've already got. And I'm just going to pop it in there, wire a little switch on. Um, and yeah, it should be all good to go for our next trip. So uh, let's start cutting out this plywood. Alright, so the holes are all cut out, a um, little bit uh, uneven, a couple of the holes are a bit small which is um, which is fine, uh, as you can see there that needs to be cut out a little bit, then I'm going to sand it all down, sand off my chalk marks. so the panel's in now um, it's a little bit crooked up the top here um, but I didn't cut that top line too straight so I'm gonna sand that back at some stage and just just adjust it because that's probably gonna bother me um, <laughs> just doing that all the time but I am running out of time for our next trip so I might just uh, maybe try and tilt it that way a bit 
Um, time to put all the gauges back in. Mount all these back in here. I've got a new one to go on there. Uh, my uh, voltmeter to go on there. Tanks to go in there. And there's another switch here for the fridge which will go in. Um, so yeah, let's get on to that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this existing switch to this one. Um, so basically I'm going to take, uh, I made a little leader with some ring ends on it. I'm going to take one from here over to that one. And then out of the back of the switch here will come the negative wire and that'll be bolted up to the common ground at the back there. Um, once I've done that I'll then plug in my uh, LED light and we're going to run some USB ports up and over here. And so that'll also run to that switch. I've used a slightly thinner gauge wire as you can see for the second panel. Um, this is 15 amp rated cable 1.85 millimeter square um, 4 mil stuff. Basically this thicker stuff is just a bit tricky to work with and I'm only going to ever be drawing maybe 5 amps max through here. Um, the LED lights draw very little power and the um, USB ports themselves, there'll be two of them and they'll draw uh, 2.1 amps each so at the most at a push I'll be drawing 5 amps so this 15 amp cable should be more than enough um, so let's get into it So my new positives in running to uh, this switch here. I also wired my um, voltmeter into this right hand panel purely because the thread wasn't long enough on here to um, have the three things mounted on. So I'm not sure if that matters running the voltmeter off the second panel. Essentially it's at the end of the chain now um, but maybe someone can comment down below if they know if that is an issue. Uh, also ran my negative out of here as you can see. Oh, yep, negative there and that's running back up and I've run it bolted it straight to the bolt which is part of my ground up there as I'm running out of um, little uh, mounting holes in there it's filling up fast so um, now all I need to do is wire my switch into here and I'll wire my USB port into here and then um, we'll turn it on and see how it looks all right so while we're waiting for the um, stain to dry on that board we're going to work on our um, little light so this is the light that's going on the step of a cable there um, the plug it plugs into a switch so this switch is basically going to end up here on the wall um, we've actually got the fridge out at the moment getting service so it's a perfect time for me to get in there and put the switch in um, light's going to be down the bottom and I'm going to run it up through there and back into the switch panel one. So the USB port that we've got is basically going to be installed up in here. It's going to drill a hole big enough for that. Uh, wind that in there. So it's not going to put anything on the other side. 
All right, so the port's in. Um, there it is there. It's got a uh, little uh, locking ring that screws onto the back. So I'll go ahead and uh, get it wired up. All right, so uh, USB ports are in. Um, gonna wire this end into the switch and bolt this end up in there somewhere and um, then we're all done. Alrighty, so this is the final product. So my power's back on. I've got a uh, step light here. So when that's on, basically what I want to be able to do is when I go out of the van, leave everything off. And then when you come in at night, you can flick the switch on and you've got a little step light down there now, which is, uh, which is nice. And over here on the side, I've got my USB ports. So they're hooked up to the switch here. Switch those on, plug in your iPod on the side there. Um, you know, once they're charging, they can just be left sitting, you know, like that charging. So yeah, the finished product. <laughs>